This bone has been in our department for 116 years, and it's been on display for 99. And uh, there's no opportunity before to really study what is inside, just to show up on the pink show, right? Yep. Exactly. Yeah. Let's do science today. Yes, Let's exactly. Do <laughs> I really get excited when Dave told me, you know, he has such a fossil and do not know what is going on. I said, that is just like my patient. You know, I really do not know what is inside. So let's scan, take a look at this fossil and we'll see the teeth and the bones and trying to understand the connection. The 3D structure immediately show up on this monitor. You should yeah. see this, it's awesome. Yes. <laughs> I've been uh, working with the specimen all semester and very slowly and uh, in some cases tediously trying to take this super hard sandstone and reveal the fossil underneath and to be able to just throw it in a machine and 20 seconds later, hey, this is what it looks like. It's absolutely incredible. When you first see the specimen light up on the screen and you're, you're looking at internal structures that have never been seen by anybody before because it's still under rock, but to prepare it, to actually clean it off, to see the insides, years of work. And so we've just taken a year's worth of work and whittled it down to a 20 second scan and I am looking at the inside of the specimen. I can see the inside of the brain case of this thing. It's incredible. We are gonna learn a lot about the chemical composition of the bone. We're going to have the specimen radiocarbon dated, and now we actually get to see how they put this bone together in 1913 and 1914. Um, so the whole story um, involves multiple centuries of work and multiple centuries of technology, and it's really neat to get to put all that together in the end.